Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, this is Zek the Russian and in today's video I would show you my Babushka's Dacha. Actually, right now I'm gonna help her and also I would tell you something about, you know, how life is going here in Babushka's Dacha, somewhere in the Far East. So let's check it out. Before watching the video, I want to let you know that my friend Anastasia is launching a new cycle of her 30 day Russian course for beginners starting on Monday, July 21st. You will learn all the basics of the language by spending just 30 minutes per day. The price is $60, which is only $2 per day. As a bonus, you can practice speaking by taking part in her weekly speaking clubs. The number of spots are limited, so hurry up and sign up for the course with the link in the description below, or DM her on Instagram, Russian with Murava. But for now, let's continue exploring my babushka's dacha. My babushka just got the house when it was the Soviet Union, actually. She was working somewhere in the factory, not really far from this place. And, you know, the, fa the fabric, the government gave her the part of this house. Not the whole house, but only part, like 50%. And after the Soviet Union collapsed in 1991, she just privatized it. And since then, she's living there for almost, I think, 25 or 30 years. So this is her home place. This is her house. Half of the house, unfortunately. And right now, let's check what's, what is inside. This is the entrance, there is some bench, uh, my babushka used to actually sit on it, and here we are, in the yard. Uh, my babushka used to have some small, you know, garden with some flowers. Here we can see a small kitchen, it used to be uh, in use only in summer. Actually it's not that big, it's not that small, there is nothing really, not many things inside, you know, just some oven. Just you know, some gas staying here, and actually, like I'm nine, I'm uh, one hundred ninety centimeters, and I'm like I can't stand here. It's great. <laughs> so it's made for so small Soviet people. Leather with some, you know, flower beds for flowers, and you know the reason, chardak. Yeah, this is some electricity. Electricity is going. I think, you know, some. More oh this is really interesting. This is some kind of a flower beds made of a lustra in Russian. Yeah, I'm gonna forget some Russian uh some English words because you know it's, it's I don't really use such words really often here. Yeah, there are some Russian cats hanging out. I don't know if you can see this, but yeah. Basically this is the entrance to the house, some door, some I don't know, uh really cool bench that you know comes with a ladder so you can just you know go in ladder go upstairs and just sit and you know have fun in the shade in the shadow yeah there are some you know my babushka's baseball uh, I know sticks to hit some criminals <laughs> This is a yard that I used to play when I was a kid. I used to play there with a ball, just, you know, hanging out while my parents are working. And there is even a small uh, basketball basket, I think. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I was throwing some balls when I was a child, just right here. So there are some, you know, bochki in Russian. Bochki, those places, they contain some water that we use in, like, in technical issues for some, you know, working stuff, for uh, our potatoes and such stuff. This is a shower house, it's only in use in summer, in winter it's like locked. Uh, we used to have a shower here, just, you know, when it's kind of hot as of right now. Uh, right now, by the way, it's about 30 Celsius degrees, and I'm gonna work in this you know, temperature because I was late <laughs> to Babushka's in the morning, so. Right now, let's explore the 
agarot. Agarot, this is a word that, you know, describe all of this, all of those plants, all, all of them are called ogorod, like the place where we plant something. But first, let's say hi to our doggy. Mishka, Mishka, hello. Привет, Mishka. Привет. Do you remind me? Of course you do. This, he's such a big, like, dog. We call him Mishka, which in Russian like a bear. Yeah, so he's a big bear, a good boy. Good boy, yeah. Such a good boy, I love him. Yeah, so right now, right now, let's explore what we're growing there. So firstly, this is a potato. There is a lot of potato just, you know, everywhere in Russia, especially on Babushka's Agarod. So firstly, how do we plant potato? Well I, well, I don't know, I don't do this, honestly. Well, I'm doing some like physical job here because you know I'm a man here <laughs> yeah I suppose so this is a garden somewhere there this is a raspberry uh, grown let's check whether we have some berries already well I don't think so because it's kind of early right now I think we're even late it's kind of early as you can see some you know green berries are growing but still we have some you know rows of bushes um, it's, it has some kind of construction, yeah. <laughs> By the way, this is a, I don't know, like a gratka. Gratka, this is like a one row of something is growing, and this gratka is made from something uh, like metal, I think, yeah. <laughs> well, I think maybe this is some kind of a free, a refri a old refrigerator or something like that. <laughs> Хорошо, хорошо, без проблем. Снимаю. Да не хватит тебе. Да не хватит, почему? Я мишку покажу. Не переживай. Бабушка told me that uh, I should not film everything because it's all a mess. But I don't think so. This is a true. This is a true dacha. Like I've been to many dachas and all of them seems kind of the same. Well, speaking of dachas, here we have a dravinik. So the place where we store some wood to, you know, to have a fireplace in our homes. Because here we have no communications no with dachas. There is no water, there is no, uh, there is electricity, yeah. But there is no water, there is no canalization. And, you know, there is no, like, ataplenia. So there is no hot water. So you have to... Uh, make your place warmer by yourself. So my babushka just have a, a fireplace where she like thrown some wood to have fire. In a couple of minutes I'm gonna to fill the place with some more wooden that is laying somewhere outside of this place. But for now let's continue. Some bugs that we used to have for filling with water just to contain some water. Uh, when I was a child I used to swim in them. Really, I used to go in this hole and just swim there. It was cool. It was fun. I wish I was I was that small right now, so I would be able to, you know, have a swim in that hot weather. Here we go, my babushka's restroom. Uh, I don't know how many years is that, but it's really old. Like when I was a kid, it already was there, and I don't I'm not really sure if somebody cleaned it. So <laughs> right now. We're heading to, we're heading to our like the next area where we grow plants. So here we go. There is a lot of potato. Just a lot of them. Just look at how many potatoes here here. Actually I didn't help to plant it because I'm a, I'm an ass. I'm a, I'm a whole ass, like really. Also there is a banya. Let's explore the place. Let's check it out. Here we have our banya. Banya is a place where you go showering to shower with your family with your friends to drink some beer i don't drink beer and don't recommend you but still it's a really cool place it's kind of old because you know everything on this dacha is old we don't have here some some dedushka so it would be like renewed or something unfortunately i'm not able to go there because i don't have a key and it's kind of i'm, I'm kind of busy to, to look for a key right now but for now, let's get back to work. Remember I was spoken that I had some job to do? 
right now so look at this i'm gonna you know transfer all of this from that place to our drevenik drevenik is a place where we can store some wood so i think it would take for <laughs> almost one and a half hour oh my gosh under you know the hundred or oh, not hundred but three degrees three degrees celsius temperature but still i'm gonna be able to do this <laughs> So guys, choose your fighter. Which one do you prefer to, you know, to transfer the wood? This one or this one? Personally, I prefer this one. I don't know why, or maybe I should use this one. Well, let's try both. You know, Russian baby, like Kai, Russian baby plants. <laughs> well, let's firstly try this out. But I like this. It goes really smooth. This is like some combination of our Russian Kalaska and some stuff <laughs> well this is crazy so this wood comes here So I filled it with some wooden and right now I'm gonna transfer this. I'm not sure if it's I'm gonna be able to you know use this stuff with only one hand because right now I'm feeling but this is how I just transfer it right there. So we'll need the second hand and so we guys. I've drink some water and right now I'm ready to get back to work. Let's continue, and you will watch the progress of my work. <laughs> Here we plant some cucumbers, and look what I got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven cucumbers just from this gratka. Right now I'm gonna give some give them some water. Look at the views that we got here. My part, Babushka's part. That's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. By the way, thank you so much for those who supported me on my new Patreon. It really helped me out, and I think uh, I will be able to buy a new camera as soon as possible. So thank you so much, guys. I want to launch a stream on YouTube on Thursday, July 22nd at 8 p.m. New York time. I'm going to answer all of your questions and play some Geo Guesser. The stream is going to be on this channel, so feel free to join it. But for now, that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching, see ya!